Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I've got a new tutorial where we're going to talk about how to get your drums to smack through any mix. You want really dynamic, punchy drums. A lot of questions on the channel about how I get specifically my kick and my snare to really shine and poke through the rest of the instrumentation. And in the process of doing so, a lot of you are having trouble with doing that in a way that's not going to wreck the rest of the dynamics in your mix. So you may be, you know, turning your kick and snare drum up just level wise too loud. This is a, a beat produced by Don Coda. The kick and the snare right now are just how it was sent to me. I did a little bit of leveling of the snare, but let's just hear what we've got. And then we're going to dive into what I've done with the torque and smack attack plugins. <laughs> So now let me play it back with these plugins so you can hear the difference and then we're going to break down the kick and the snare separately. So you're going to notice two things when you listen back to that, the difference uh, there. Number one, the kick has a lot more low end to it. It also has a bit more of a front end attack. And for the snare, we've got more tonality. And we did that with the Torque plugin. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And then the uh, envelope is a little different. So we've got a nice bite, nice transient front end attack on the snare. And then we've actually changed the tail of that to make it shorter and a little more sharp. So let's go ahead and break down the kick first. I'm going to solo this and uh, let's just hear the sample dry. And then with my processing here. Pretty massive difference. Torque is a great plugin for not only tuning drums, but also by tuning them in a different way, we can get a different impact and tonality out of the samples themselves. This is just a handy way of scanning frequencies and finding the most resonant frequencies in the sound, which normally correspond to the fundamental or what you're gonna wanna actually tune. So what I've done here is we just played it back And you can find, you know, wherever you're wanting to adjust the tuning. I was down here lower. Which is where we're getting a lot of the thump from. But I just wanted to tune that a little bit lower. So we get this really thunderous kick drum by moving the uh, torque control just down minus 250 cents. Now let's go on to the smack attack. What do we do on the kick here? Let's just uh, take off the smack attack. And then with. So this has just got a lot more bite to it. And using the attack control over here on smack attack, you'll hear that we can change this transient quite a bit. So we can go all the way from something like just a slower thump, a thud, versus a really clicky and punchy kick drum by just adjusting the attack time here. So I've adjusted the sustain or the tail of the sound just a little bit to make it a bit more uh, quick. So you can actually use Smack Attack to adjust that tail, make your kick drums even longer. So very, very powerful control over here. Now the last thing I want to talk about on the smack attack that's very useful is it has a limiter built in. So this is especially helpful again with these drums that we're, we're pushing heavily, we're processing in a way that we want them to poke through the mix and be very impactful, but we don't want to be you know clipping or distorting going into our master bus because that can cause some problems. So directly from the plugin, I just turn on the limit we're not going to go above zero here on our mixer, which is extremely useful. So now let's go on to the snare drum. I did some cool stuff on this snare. Let me solo this back. So I was down here in that 200 range, and then I just tuned it up about 240. Again, not a ton, and that gives us this, uh, this tone to it.
Pretty cool, right? So now let's go to the smag attack. Let's see what's happening there. I'm going to pull up the smag attack for our snare drum. And without the smag attack, we've got this. And with. So just a little bit more attack on the front end. All right, y'all. So I hope that is helpful in getting more dynamic, impactful drums that smack through any mix using just two plugins today. We have seen a massive amount of tools for shaping your drum sounds. No matter what samples you get, you can get a ton of mileage out of them. If you have any questions about how I use Torque or Smack Attack today or how I process my drums in general, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon.